Hi and welcome to this video. I thought it'd be fun to explore the range of Captain plugins by Mixed in Key and to use them to help create a lo-fi style track. When I started filming, I realised that the latest addition to the Captain plugin range, Captain Beat, deserves a video all to itself as there are several ways you can approach the plugin. You can think of Captain Beat as a drum machine that comes with loads of drum samples, kits and drum patterns, but more than this, you can import your own drum samples, create your own beats, and mix and match snare patterns from one beat with kick patterns from another. So let's start with Captain Beat. When you load Captain Beat into your door, you'll get a four on the floor pattern. In my case, I'm using Cubase, but there's a list of compatible doors on the Captain Plugins website. You can add your own beats in a few different ways. You can use the computer keyboard, you can use a MIDI keyboard or MIDI pads, and uh, the samples seem to be mapped to the uh, MIDI standard. So if I hit play on my door, simply by um, uh, pressing keys on the MIDI keyboard, I'll be uh, able to input notes. So I'm going to hit a snare drum now. Now when you have a look at the... Uh, at the snare drum lane, you'll see that uh, by using the MIDI keyboards I'm actually um, recording different velocities. So now let's put the clap in using the computer keyboard and if you look at the left hand side here you'll see the clap has been assigned to the S key. So I'll select that, you can hear the preview the sound and if I set to playback going we're ready to start recording the clap. Now you'll notice that everything I recorded was quantized to the nearest 16th beat and your quantized settings are under the magic record button here. You can, uh, by clicking on the uh, quantized dial, you can actually set your quantized value and the amount of quantize as well. So you, can, um, you don't have to have it rigidly quantized um, like I've just done. Uh, there's also, this button's interesting, the auto commit button. So if we uh, do some hi-hats now, hi-hats are on the F key. So I'm going to um, switch off auto commit and hit the F key. Now then you'll see that uh, they're greyed out because I haven't committed those. So if I was happy with that take I would literally click done and they've been com uh, committed to the track. I'm not particularly happy, so let's have a look at some of the editing keys. To delete any mistakes you make, simply draw a box around them and hit, use the delete key. And similarly to copy anything uh, or move anything, let's uh, pick that up and move it like so. We can also copy a range of beats. So let's put another four by holding down the Alt key. And so I've duplicated them. And the other tool is the pencil tool, which which puts notes into the uh, to 16th beat. So if I put in uh, the pencil across here, it's now put in uh, shakers to 16ths. Now, um, when you're using the computer keyboard, you do not um, everything is put in with a fixed velocity. Now, obviously, with shakers. You probably want to go in and uh, edit them individually. So you can adjust the whole, if everything's selected, you can adjust the whole range of velocities. I click off there and go and select, for example, every other note. You can put a lot more uh, feeling in. Or you can you, you can further edit in your door, which I'll show you how to do later. So if we now um, play that back. Let's just solo the shakers and you'll hear you can put a lot more feeling in just by adjusting those velocity values. So you may prefer to, uh, for example, record hi-hats using drum pads, shakers recording drum pads, and use the uh, computer keyboard, which is actually a very convenient way of doing it uh, for, say, your kicks and your snares that you want uh, tightly quantized, and maybe to a set velocity too. 
As well as creating your own beats, you can, of course, um, choose from the hundreds of beats that are supplied within Captain Beat. If you simply go to the uh, pattern and select, for example, let's go to the um, uh, Odessa collection here and select first pattern. You can select from hundreds, literally hundreds, of patterns in various folders, various styles. Where it gets really interesting though, let's select a different one, is that you can mix and match from each pattern. So for example, we're in the pattern called flossing, but if we want to uh, change out, for example, the snare from that pattern, we can change the snare rhythm by simply uh, right clicking on here. And now we've put in a different snare pattern. So you may well find that by mixing and matching, let's do the same thing with the kick. By mixing and matching patterns, you can literally create thousands of variations and often you can stumble across something that works really well. So keeping in mind that uh, we we're going to create a lo-fi style beat, I've selected a tempo of 80 in the door and I've selected uh, from the hip hop pattern, I've selected ghosted 70. Now I want to make a few amendments because over here there's uh, snares that I want to get rid of. So I'll get rid of those. But this also gives us an opportunity to show how we can actually change sounds uh, and import our own samples. So obviously we can select from a variety of different kits. So um, if I now call up a, a different kit, let's have a look at say a 707, uh, 808. 909. I'll go back to the 411 though and I'll drag in my own uh, sort of lo-fi kick to see how that sounds in comparison and all you do is you literally uh, uh, I've got to do it off screen but uh, I'll drag a, a kick sample into the window and you'll see it's given it the name kick one which is the name I assigned the sample so it's a much grungier lo-fi kick but equally I can experiment and drag other kicks onto the, the same line. And I can do the same sort of thing with obviously with all the samples. And don't think you're limited to the number of samples you can see on the screen. If I click this expand button, you'll see that there are, uh, I think it's 16 altogether, samples that uh, to choose from, all mapped to the, uh, to the MIDI standard. So let's try another kick. Like number four. Right. Now let's uh, try replacing the clap with a snare sound. So I've got my folder of lo-fi snares open. I'll drag that across there now. as easy as that literally drag and drop you can also create your own folders so that you load up um, samples from uh, folders now let's imagine now I want to actually control the that kick so let's just solo the kick you'll notice that the other instruments go gray so you can see the colored instrument is the one that's highlighted so let's solo that under controls you can see that if I reduce the whole time I can actually, whoop, I've got the clap selected. Let's select the click. Today's deliberate mistake. Now you see that by reducing the hold time and adjusting the decay, I can totally change the uh, the shape of that, uh, the sound of the uh, the kick itself. I can adjust the pitch. shave off the attack we don't need to do that for a kick let's go to the clap and let's uh, try sculpting the clap I'll solo that so we can hear what we're doing so that's the clap controls now so if I reduce the um, the whole time I 
Again, I can adjust the pitch and I can adjust the panning position. More controls are available. We can go into effects and let's uh, put a delay on that. Bit of reverb. And there's also a filter. So I can get even more low fi. Let's put the hi hat back on again. Obviously, I'll probably want to do that with the hi hat as well. So by selecting export, you'll see that I have uh, four options. I can export the channel audio, the channel MIDI, master audio and master MIDI. So if I literally drag the master MIDI into the arrangement, you'll see now I can switch this to MIDI in. And there's that pattern playing back. So basically, Captain Beat is now just receiving the information and all the um, the MIDI information is actually inside Cubase. Let's just close that window, call up Drum Edit, and we can see the uh, the drum pattern. Now here you're free to apply swing uh, your own. Uh, you could randomize the beats or do any of the commands that are inside your door to give a more natural feel or to give a more laid back feel or to give a tighter feel if you want if you haven't quantized in the first place. By the way, there are four sections at the top here, verse, pre-chorus, chorus and drop. Just think of them as, as four areas in which you can store uh, patterns. So, for example, if I like this but want to work on it a little bit further, I can uh, copy that pattern and paste it into the pre-chorus section and then work on it further, knowing that the verse is unaffected. So you've got four, four work areas in which you can create a variety of patterns. So that's um, that's exporting the MIDI into the into your uh, door. Let's just uh, delete that now. And you can, of course, um, do channel MIDI. So if I just want to export the MIDI for the kick, I can drag that up and do the MIDI for the kick, and then I can work on the kick separately. Similarly, if I want to do the same for the clap, which is now I've got our snare sample in. If we select it and go to uh, basic, you'll see that we've selected lo-fi snare 10. And obviously we can save away our custom drum kit, give it a name, give it a folder. As well as exporting MIDI, we can, of course, export the audio. So uh, let's imagine this was a, a complex, more complex beat. In fact, let's make it slightly more complex. Let's uh, take the clap, hold down the Alt key to copy that clap, uh, put it onto the snare and uh, let's put in with the pencil some uh, shakers so we've now got a more let's have a listen to the beat we've got i'll take the uh, shakers down I'd spend more time working on the velocity levels as I discussed earlier in the shakers. So let's export some of the uh, audio rather than the MIDI. Let's imagine the track was all, already almost finished and you've got everything, you've got the beat the way you wanted it. Um, we can uh, literally select the kick and select the channel audio and drag that into a blank channel. Certainly this is the way it works on Cubase. Your door may differ, but uh, drag and drop will certainly work. And by clicking OK, we now have the kick on its own track. And if I do the same thing for the snare and drag channel audio, I've got the snare on its own track. Now then the other thing, uh, let's imagine that the rest of the mix takes care of itself. I just really want to work on the kick and the snare. So I can mute those two. And uh, if I select now master audio, I'll drag all the other tracks apart from the kick and the snare. Uh, into the arrangement and uh, they now have their own separate track so let's uh, let's close captain beat and uh, let's mute it just so that it doesn't play back and we've now got everything exported as three stereo midi files so if i uh, solo the kick the kicks there on its own as is the snare on its own separate track for its own processing and if we solo, we've got the echoing snare stroke clap, the lo-fi snare clap, 
and um, the hi-hats and uh, shakers all mixed together on that track so we can now balance them in the mixer we can now put them through various processing compression etc uh, within your door a very f uh, flexible method of exporting tracks so how to sum up captain beat in one word i'd say versatile there are hundreds of patterns and hundreds of drum kits to choose from and you can drag and drop your own sounds uh, it and create your own kits and create your own patterns and save them away very versatile very easy to use easy to uh, grasp and get get a hold of there's one or two things you maybe need to be aware of for example you do need to be online when you're creating new uh, patterns it'll work offline if you're working with existing arrangements but you do need to be online one little niggle for me was i would have liked like the um the solo buttons and the mute to be uh, color coded however you'll see that uh, when when uh, when muted the tracks are grayed out so that is um one uh, that's like a compensation you can of course select your own feature request at the bottom so i could select uh, that as being a feature request to color code these or any other uh, things for example there's no swing time quantize option you can of course do that once you've dragged the files into your door but it'd be nice to see that within the program if that's important to you, you can select it as a feature request so they do seem to be a company that actually listens to their uh, to their users and uh, that's to be applauded so in uh, the next video i'll be looking, using the rest of the captain plugin range to create a track in the lo-fi style so be sure to subscribe and to click the bell icon to be notified when it's uploaded many thanks to those of you who already subscribed if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and so until the next video thanks for watching